Hey, good morning, everybody. I'll tell you what, it is spring, and welcome back to our Living Like Larry series. Hey, we're gonna go plant some trees. Got just a load of trees about three days ago from our good friend Dan McGurk over at Rem's Tree Farm, and we've got quite a few to plant. Um, you know, this is something that it definitely I love doing. Um, I always say this, you know, really, you spend anywhere from 25 to, you know, I don't usually spend more than 100 bucks on a tree, but 25 to 100 bucks on a tree. What can you buy that's most likely gonna outlast you? And, you know, everything else that you buy basically, you know, you buy a new truck, you buy a new trailer, you buy this, you buy that, there's a lot of maintenance on it. And the cool part about trees is that, you know what, once you get them established, pretty much you can leave them alone. I put tree guards on all of them. We got a lot of deer, we got a lot of rabbits, you know, so that protects them against that. And then, you know, of course you've always got, you know, this disease, that disease, um, which, you know, once that tree is strong and established and gets out of that shock, you know, anytime you plant something, you know, we plant a lot of bare root stuff. We plant a lot of potted stuff. Um, you know, then once it gets out of that shock system, like I said, it takes typically about a year to two years for that to happen. Uh, the trees, you know, can pretty much take care of themselves. When I first started planting trees, I would plant anything I could get my hands on. I planted a, a lot of popples, which grow really fast, but they also die really fast. Um, so I'm more into oaks now, a lot of maples. Got to watch the maples, you know, we farm too. So anything that really has a big root system that stretches way out like a maple or an oak, I try to keep them away from the farm fields to try to keep peace with my son Isaac. So I planted these yesterday, you guys. Look at this. Found a few rocks along the way. Yep. So. I do a lot of the tree guards like this. I started, I got some chicken wire a while back for free, so I started wrapping them with chicken wire too. Anything to keep the deer and the rabbits off, you know, I love both of them, but uh, man, you gotta keep them off. This, we just painted the rims on these. There's always something to do when you have a farm. Look how nice them rims look. Woo! Spectacular. I love being outside. I've never been that kind of person that likes to spend time inside. I typically go inside for two things, to eat, sleep, maybe three things. Eat, sleep, and poop, right? That's my three things right there. All right, let me go get the, the uh, Polaris and load up some of these trees and get some planting done because we've got to go to the office today. So doing something good is is what it's all about you know and uh, leaving this this world and in a better place hopefully you know at least you made some kind of impact on things enough of that chit chat double rat let's get some damn trees in the ground let's see if we can get these planted before we go to work Hey, I'll tell you what, the other great part about planting trees is it is no doubt I don't go to a gym like my wife does every day. I'm huffing and puffing a little. But I do love to plant trees and it is great exercise. All right, let's get these babies in the ground. So when I get trees like this that come in the cork, what I do is just bust the edges off right here. And then basically, this will rot away in you know in a month. There's an old saying in tree planting that I learned a long time ago from a couple of guys that do it for a living. You plant it, you, if you plant it low, you never know if it's gonna grow. If you plant it high, most likely it'll never die. You know what, you don't really wanna water these trees a tremendous amount. No doubt they gotta have water, but Again, if you keep watering over and over and over, what they're going to become is dependent on you watering them. So I really kind of monitor, like I said, the first couple of years, I really watch these trees. Um, I, again, they're stressed out, you know, when you replant them, but the key is, again, is try to get that tree to get them roots down as deep as you can. You know, when I'm planting trees, I want to make sure that I stomp the dirt down as tight as I can get it. 
Um, that's a big thing right there. And again, don't plant them too low. You know, don't bury them too low. You know, you want to make sure that that tree can breathe. And again, you want that root system to try to work its way down to the ground. The key is, again, keep yourself hungry. Get outdoors. That is the biggest, if you listen to anything that I have ever told you, guys and gals, it is get outdoors. It's the healthiest environment you could ever have. Get the HE double toothpicks out of that house and get outside, plant a garden, plant some trees. I've got about six acres of soybeans here. We fed, I would say, between 60 and 80 deer pretty much on an average night we're out here. The hunting has not been that good, so I'm hoping that this year with the food plot and having these deer here all winter, and right now it being a drier spring, that uh, some of these deer stick around for sure. Let's uh, load up the Polaris here and uh, get her ready to rock and roll. We'll put her away. Hey, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel down below. You know, the great part, what I always say that we love, we love the outdoors. We love people that love to enjoy the outdoors. We love people that like to enjoy the outdoors and great family values. That's what it's all about. Hey, again, thanks for joining us. Subscribe to our YouTube channel down below. And remember, no doubt we're living in the greatest country in the world as of today. Hopefully that never changes. And it is a great day to be alive. We'll talk to you later. Hey, if you want a better looking host, you need to subscribe to our YouTube channel down below.